Hi everyone and welcome to The Sims 4 Cottage Living, the very first part of my brand new Let's Play. I'm so excited to get into this. It's been a while since this pack has been released, but I've been finishing off my eco lifestyle Let's Play. And before that, I finished off my Snowy Escape Let's Play. So I'm really, really excited to get into this. Like, ugh, I've... I've been waiting to play this pack for so long. Uh, so we have three Sims. We're kind of playing a Big Sister style challenge, but it won't be exactly like Big Sister challenge. I'm kind of like doing my own thing with it, but it's got that vibe. Um, so we have our main Sim who we're going to be playing with is called Kat Mulberry. Kat is from the city. She grew up in Samashino with her mum and her dad, uh, but this is her grandparents' farm. Her grandparents have passed away some time ago and uh, there's a bit of a backstory with her parents and why she has run away, uh, but we'll get into that in the course of the let's play i don't want to have too much of an introduction at, at first uh, but this is cat she's quite um high maintenance she likes her fashion her makeup she likes to uh look after herself but she's very quite prim quite proper but she's also quite sporty she's very popular uh but she has had to leave the city with her younger brother and sister and she's come to her grandparents farm she kind of needs to start a brand new life and it's going to be hard for her because she's not only got to raise her two siblings as a teenager, but she also has to raise the money um, and look after the farm. And it's going to be a challenge for her because it's just not her forte. She used to come here as a child um, and spend time with her grandparents, but she doesn't really remember anything that they taught her about gardening, about chickens, about cows. So it's going to be a steep learning curve for her. And I feel like as time progresses, I want her to change in terms of her style or her to become more cottage core and her dress sense will change and her yeah just her kind of like personality i think her she has a young brother elliot mulberry he's just on the swing at the moment elliot likes kids radio pop music summer strut music he likes comedy fishing mischief and video games and he's got various like favorite colors um i don't know if i said cat any yeah cat likes singer songwriting music she likes hip-hop music pop music summer strut music she likes wellness baking writing and singing and then we have her younger sister uh, Maddie, where's Maddie? Maddie, Maddie, where are you? Yeah, here's little Maddie, and Maddie is a charmer. These toddlers love to socialize. They own communication skills faster and don't suffer stranger danger from strangers. They could share the love with other Sims. So that's our Sims. And I'll show you the house very briefly, as obviously we'll be playing in this house. So it's kind of different to the Big Sister style challenge because they have a home, but they have no money to them. Cat like grabbed any money she could get from her dad's apartment, like just a little loose change lying around, a few notes here and there. She has 43 pounds and she's brought her brother and her sister to her grandparents' old farmhouse. Luckily, this house didn't get sold when the grandparents passed away it was in her mum's name um and we're going to details of why her mum isn't around so she this is her mum's property now because her grandparents passed away but her mum is not in a position to be able to be here with them so uh cat's kind of got to look after this place on her own it's kind of old fashioned um i'll show you around briefly but we have a little living room here um it's not going to be cat style for sure not at all we've got some older bathroom here we've got a little office downstairs it's quite a big part big place it's quite cool uh the kitchen's really big i can't wait to get into the canning and stuff uh we have a dining room here we have a little laundry we have a bathroom down here this is kind of like an outhouse building it's got all sorts of like equipment for doing various things we have um a little garden area upstairs there's quite a few bedrooms so i think we're going to have elliot stay in this room for the moment obviously we will eventually give them little makeovers so that they're more friendly for them we have another office here this is going to be maddie's room again she hasn't got any toys or anything we've just got a bed and a potty that's all we've managed to get at the moment this is a spare room uh with a what do you call these beds can't remember what they're called murphy bed that's it another bathroom and then this is going to be Kat's room. Again, it's not her style, but they can't afford anything right now. So they, they have to be grateful to have a roof over their heads for sure. We do have um, two cow sheds or llama sheds and we do have a chicken coop. We don't have anything in there at the moment and we have some uh, plots. And I kind of want to see if I can do this off the grid. I don't know. I have set a lot challenge. Um, so let's see what we've done. I have set the simple living lot challenge, which I'm sure, uh, you guys won't be new to cottage living like I am, but, uh, I'm sure you know what it is, but for those of you who might not, this lot requires ingredients to cook all the recipes. Cooking with the ingredients just makes food taste better. So I'm thinking about doing it off the grid as well. Um, but 
Can you have more than one lot challenge? Oh, you can. That's cool. This lot is not connected to the utility grid and most objects that use power or water will not function as expected. Can your sim survive without the comforts of plumbing and electricity? Natural living does have its advantages such as no utility bills. That's really good. And then the other lot traits I went for were sunny aspect, homey and natural light. So we're going to go off the grid. Oh my god. Uh... Supplemental water utility may be collected around the world. Also check out the off the grid category in build by for helpful objects and activities. So we might have to change the fridge to one that can hold ice. Uh, some objects that can create water and power even while off the grid are the wind turbine, water generator, dew collector, power generator, solar panel, as long as the household produces more water power or water than it uses objects that use these utilities will continue to work awesome okay so this is very <laughs> i don't oh and also it just got super dusty in here from the dust of bus cut kit cut kit and i don't think we're gonna be able to use a vacuum cleaner oops <laughs> this is not gonna be good but i kind of feel like it fits the vibe because they're gonna get here and there's no power there's no water and it's dusty because this house has been essentially not abandoned like it's just no one's lived here for a little while but it hasn't been sold off or anything like that um we have a well in the back garden this is a modded version of a well um for collected water so that's good and I just thought it looked a bit better than the dew collector in terms of like the vibe of this pack. We also have some little water collection buckets. I guess we could, uh, the, the washing machine is not going to work, but we're kind of off the grid because there's no power because I have no money um, rather than it being an off the grid lot. So we eventually will have power. Okay, so I just got some candles, which is awesome. Um, so I don't even know if we ha could cook anything because uh, Maddie is pretty hungry. So we're going to have to have a quick look. It is 10 p.m. So I think it will be a bit lighter in here when uh, morning comes around. But the kids should be in bed. I mean, Elliot, you definitely should be in bed, but they are hungry. They probably traveled for quite a bit to get hit from some machine to here. So we're going to add some ice to the fridge. And uh, let's see, we got a little bit of money, so we might be able to cook something. But we don't have any ingredients, which is a bit unfortunate. Oh no, we got that. Oh dear, I think we're gonna have to maybe order Azumas for the first night. She's gonna, Kat's gonna feel like such a failure, but that is something she would do. She'd just be like, oh, well, uh, what would I do if I was in the city? I would call for a delivery. So let's see if we could do that. Can we even use our phone? I don't even know. <laughs> Does your mobile work off the grid? I mean, we'll have to say she's got a little bit of credit. So let's do. Uh, order a delivery. The internet does not work without a supply of power while off the grid. <laughs> Oh no, I think we're gonna have to run into down and buy some ingredients. We got 40. Oh wait, I got 996. That's because I changed the toilets. I don't think I want her to have that much money. So we're gonna quickly run into town. I think we have to, do we have to load into the pub to get there? I think we do. We're gonna, I don't even know if anything is gonna be open this time of night. Oh, I'm so excited for this let's play. I feel like I, I like it's different to Big Sister Challenge, like with the actual rules. It's got the same vibe to it. And I just felt like they've got to pay the bills. I had a quick look at the bill information for that house and the bills are like four and a half thousand. Obviously we'll have less power to worry about, but oh no, that closes at 7 p.m. Uh oh, I think we're gonna have to just be hungry tonight unless she can find something foraging about. Oh, her little sisters and brother are gonna be hungry and she just feels like such a failure. Oh, bless her. Cat, don't worry, you're gonna be fine. Let's just see if we can see something around. I added in one more family and they own a shop which has clothes. So I've got a clothes shop. Uh, it's just here. I didn't build it, I downloaded it from Gally and just edited it a bit. But we've got a little clothes shop in town as well, which I think would be fun to see her change up her style um she's she's gonna feel like a bit of an odd one out in this town i think at first i can't see anything here um so why don't we go to where would could we forage about where is a good place i guess we'll go to the uh the national park i also added in some little bits with the national park i should have brought the kids because i don't think she would like to leave a toddler and a child in the house on their own so maybe from Oh no, the game failed to load error code. <gasps> Don't you be doing this to me in part one. Maybe it's because my park is incomplete. I'll be right back. Okay, it let, let me load in this time, which is good. I did edit the park up a little bit. I added chess tables, swings, a uh, slide, the some stuff from the outdoor retreat pack. So I did add in a few other bits, but we are on the hunt for, we need some food. I didn't think we'd struggled this early on. I don't know what this giant thing is search what is this snail take a selfie she would take a self selfie with sophie the snail fair enough <laughs> that's what you want to waste your phone battery on 
before you've had time to charge it, that's fine. You've got no power to charge it, so okay. Um, We're going to be hungry because the pub's not open. Oh, can we rummage in the bin? She just wouldn't, though, would she? She just would be like, ew, no. This is the thing about this 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 girl. She's going to be... She's, oh, we can gather water. Ah, I don't think she's going to enjoy fishing. <laughs> she's going to be so hard, so much hard work, but she's going to do it. She's gonna she's gonna buckle on down and do it for her family. We need to find like some wild mushrooms or something. Um I love this world though. It's so pretty. It feels so peaceful. And it's gonna be like completely different after I've been playing Eco Lifestyle for so long. But let's see how she gets on with this snail. <laughs> I don't know what this snail can give me. Give me food, that would be great. I like, can't found something. Maybe she should hide something in exchange for some oh look at her. <laughs> She's like, first day, Hemford and Bagley, I've made a new friend. Bless her. She is going to have a social media profile. I don't know how she'll manage it without any power, but eventually we'll get power. So what did she find? She found a rock. <laughs> okay, right. Let's go see if we can uh, find some fish. This, this world seems huge. Look at her spinning around there. I mean, I saw some people who did this start a lot and they were saying like how far it takes you to walk places in this world. Like just go to the toilet if you're playing like uh, rags to riches and things. Um, it's quite funny. Uh, any mushrooms around here? Oh, are you, are you harvestable? No, you're just decorative. That's not good. <laughs> oh, we have a bush. Yes, we have choco berries. I don't know what we can make with that, but let's grab them. Um, yes, I'm excited. What's this? It's a little den for foxes, I think, probably. Okay, so we have a choco berry. That's good. We are playing in summer at the moment, and we are on day three of summer. Let's come and see what we can do. See, it takes ages to walk anywhere. Did you just collect the water? Okay, we're going to go fishing once we got some uh, choco berries. I hope our kids are okay. <laughs> Uh, maybe they should have come with us, but for one night we'll be okay. I'm going to send them to sleep. Also, I'm going to cheat down her money just because we swapped those toilets out. So I'm going to give her that 43 that she had to start with. Um, she acquired the gardening skill. Looks like that's hard oh, to harvest right now. I wonder what we can make out of choco berries. Probably not a lot, but, uh, this fruit just tastes, just tastes just like chocolate. Wow. Finally, a healthy alternative to chocolate. Nice. I think she'll be happy with that. Okay. I'll let her fish for a while and I'll let you know what we find. Okay, cat found nothing. <laughs> Looks like the fish in this area were too crafty for cat. Try finding, try fishing elsewhere until she has more skill or try using a bait. Okay, well, we're going to go home. We did our best. <laughs> we did our best. Okay, we're back home. It's 5.26 a.m. And I don't know whether to, I think what I will do is plant the choco berry. Uh, can you plant things in this normal plot? I think so. I think we're going to plant the choco berry because I think it's better to do that <laughs> uh, rather than eat our one choco berry. So we're going to plant that. She's probably not enjoying getting her jeans dirty. These are probably designer jeans that cost her a lot of money. <laughs> um, so we can purchase oversized crop seeds. I guess we should do that. Um, let's go for some pumpkins and some watermelons. Oh, we can't even afford both of those. Let's go for two lettuce then and um we're gonna plant those <laughs> i don't know if our brother and sister can plant those as well so we're going to uh plant oversized crop lettuce plant oversized crop lettuce and plant oversized crop pumpkin oh the kids are gonna have to go to school hungry she will not be going to school as per the big sister challenge kind of rules um and that's basically the only rule i'm really sticking to um i don't know if i'm gonna let her talk to adults i think i will I think she's going to be wary of people, though, because she's going to be untrusting. I don't know if this kid can, uh, if Maddie can use a potty. No, she can't. So we're going to have to get potty help in a minute. Oh, she's using her diaper. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Too late. And we're going to water everything. Hopefully she starts to enjoy gardening. She loved it when she was a kid. She loved hanging out with her grandpa in the garden and helping with the animals when she was a kid. Um, but she hasn't done it for years she doesn't remember much of the tips so she's having a go she's just throwing them in the ground and hoping for the best <laughs> but she's actually planted her first crops which is super exciting and we have three pounds left not good elliot has to go to school soon i think he's gonna socialize with his sister so let's make funny faces at her she stinks <laughs> gonna hug her lovingly and tell her a little goofy story cat is going to go to the bathroom and then she oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> we need to spend our three pounds somehow um, and make some food. We need bread and cheese, but we don't have any money. So 
Maybe I shouldn't have spent the last so much money on uh, seeds. Probably a bad mistake. <laughs> Let's see if we can um, look for frogs in the pond. Uh, we have a fossil that we can try and sell in town, I think would be good. Oh, he's so cute. He's getting his social up. Hopefully he's going to eat at school anyway. Cat couldn't catch a frog. Oh, she tried. She's really trying. Uh, it's so hard for her. Bless her little cotton socks. I don't know what else we can. Let's come in and dig this up. Some blueberries and raspberries around, but um, she cannot harvest them just yet. But, oh, there's a little play pot spot here. That's cute. Oh, what's these on the ground? Oh, some toys. That's nice. Uh, yeah, so there's a few bits around, but not anything we can find quite yet. Can we fish here? Yeah, the blueberry and the raspberry that she found were not ready yet, but we'll keep our eyes on them. And hopefully when the kids get home from school, she will um, have some food. So Maddie, I, I, I feel like our toddler can't come with us everywhere because it's just ridiculous. So what did she find there? Oh, she did get a frog. Nice. We can sell those. And she got a minnow. Oh, things are starting to look up. Awesome. Oh, well, we get a call. It's probably from the principal, but no, we're not coming to school. She's enrolled her brother in school in um, this area in Hemford and Bagley, but she is not going to go to school herself at all. She is starving and very tired. She stayed up all night. Okay, we've got level two of the fishing skill. Nice. Let's see if she can catch one more thing before we go, go into town. Okay, she caught another minnow. So let's travel into town. I'm going to save because I keep getting these uh, errors. Which I'm not quite sure why that's happening. Okay, so we're in town and we have Maddie with us as well. I just feel like we've traveled like quite far from our home. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, oh, they're open now. Good. Let's come and see. Let's go to Haggle. <laughs> and let's try and sell our items. I don't know if she wants to buy our fish. Do you want to buy our fish? By any chance? Do you want to buy a frog? Yeah, we need a discount badly. Are you crazy? I'm already losing money at these prices. This is Kim Goldblum. Okay, so she will buy two fish from us. Thank you. We made 15 pounds. Oh my gosh. And we have a 100 pound frog and we have two fossil rocks. So let's sell our frog and let's... Uh, do they make more money when you open the frogs? Let's extract the... Uh, the fossil, sorry. Okay, so we got two fossils for 90 pounds. Oh my God, we're making cash um we're making the money okay so we're gonna um we can't haggle anymore but we are gonna buy some items <laughs> so that we can at least cook a meal when we get back and then have a nap because we need it we appreciate your business here are simoleons have a nice day yay oop menu didn't just pop up then let's do buy a grocery item okay right let's sort by cheapest <laughs> so a lettuce is five pounds a mushroom is five pounds a pumpkin a watermelon an aubergine i kind of need cheese and bread um we'll get an egg as well <laughs> i think oh we have to make bread and i assume it needs flour but i don't know what else it would need Maybe we'll get a bottle of milk. I haven't made anyone lactose intolerant, but I could make one of the kids lactose intolerant at some point. And I don't know what else we might need, to be honest. Guess we will stick with that for now and see if we can make something. Kaz discovered information about an egg, which has been uh, added to the notebook. Let's have a look. This is a standard egg that hens lay. You can also feed a hen a friendly treat, animal treat, to ensure the next egg they lay will be white. Okay, cool. That's fine. So let's come um thank you for your shopping our grocery shop. We appreciate your business. Have a nice day. The items cat purchase can be found in her inventory. Right. Let's go back home. <laughs> uh because our sister is starving and we're gonna upset the locals if we're not careful. <laughs> I wish the telephone boxes worked because if we're off the grid and we can't use our mobile, it'd be cool if we could come into town and use the telephone. That'd be kind of cool. I think that would be good. Okay, we're back home. So I wanted to check that we actually put the ice in there. So current fridge levels. Fridges will now preserve food items without power until the ice melts. Okay, let's see if she can come and put that ice away. Okay, she did that. She's so tired, bless her. Um, so it says we've got 99% ice. Okay, and then we need to put away our cheese, our milk, our egg, and our flour. And hopefully, I'm just going to sell her homo because it is simoleon. And we hopefully can cook something. So cook off the grid. Oh no, we need to make bread first. How do I make bread? Oh, I got flour. I need two flours and I need some sugar. Oh, really? Man. <laughs> Great. 
Can I? I can't order a Zoomers. Let, let's get the mail. I don't even know what mail I'm expecting right now. Uh, she collected everything from the mailbox. What is it? Oh, okay. This is our wonderful items from the Wonderful Whims mod. So we will open those boxes and unpack the box. Okay, that's good. And then we will set uh, auto use. And yeah, cool. So we're not going to get any surprise babies, which is good. And we're going to look for some frogs again. She actually waded straight into that water. Good for her. I thought I saw a cow's head poking out of here, but it was a lamp. I was like, wait, have we got a cow that I don't know about? Um, let's come in and encourage the crop growth um, for sure. And then I will need to nip back into town to get sugar and another flower. Maddie's very hungry. I know. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't even know if we're going to have the energy to do this. Ooh. I hope the stall's open. <laughs> She's going to run over here and be like, come on, open up, please. <laughs> Buy items. Do we even have enough money? We've got 161. That's not too bad. I need uh, another flower. I'm just going to buy like four flowers. And I need um, sugar. Let's buy like, four sugars and we'll buy three eggs and two more cheeses. That should keep us going. And it spent so much of our money. <laughs> okay, let's get this show on the road. Let us cook. Milk bread. <laughs> I've never been excited to so excited to cook bread. Oh, right. Come here, Maddie. Don't worry. We're going to give you a bath as soon as the bread is made. And you can play with a dust bunny if you want. Can't believe you can actually cook something. And why did you choose that counter with all that decor on there? We're making some bread. I hope she makes good quality bread. <gasps> let's see. Excellent quality. Well done, cat. Well done. Okay, let's serve some bread. Grab a serving for Maddie. Here, hun. Look, she's so proud of her bread. There you go. Have it on the floor. <laughs> Eat the milk bread. I hope it tastes good. It's homemade. Did she get any moodlets from that? She's hungry for attention. Bless her. Okay, we actually have some bread. Elliot has returned home from school and he has a school project. Okay, and we get a call from who? Uh, the principal. No, we're not answering it. We're not going to school. <laughs> Elliot. Oh, he actually ate at school. So we're going to save that bread because we don't want to waste that. And I think we need to. Let's maybe socialize with our brother. Say, how was your first day at your new school? Let's uh, fish for compliments. <laughs> Whine about our unfair life. <laughs> And we will ask to be comforted. That's so cute. And let's admire tenacity. You're doing so good, Elliot. It's like I've had such a bad day. I brought the flour and I bought it. And then I had to go back for the sugar. And it was so far to go. And your sister's been smelly all day. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to bath her for sure. Have we got enough? Yeah, looks like we got enough. Let's give Birdie a bath. And she's like, all I've got for dinner is this milk bread. <laughs> it's been so hard. And then it's just like, well, I had a great day. Uh, what are you going to throw away? Oh, do we not have a bin? Yeah, we have a bin. No, do we not have a bin in this house? Surely I have. <laughs> I don't get a bin. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I'm allowed to buy a bin because that was just my error. Okay, I just purchased them uh, an outdoor cr trash can and a bin. I kind of made it free of charge because that's just my error. So we are going to come and bath her but she is pretty much going to drop in a minute because she's so tired and uh elliot is helping out with the trash he's a good kid he's a good egg can he get out of here because it seems to be like the platform issue i don't even know if he can walk out this back door i'm gonna have to test this in a minute can you come out here um and oh look she's giving her a bath finally she needed that for sure oh they're doing so good yeah, let's get you out of that. Are you nice and clean now? Well, not perfectly clean, but we're going to quickly see if we can get her on the potty before she uses her nappy. I think she was about to. Oh, yeah, she was about to. Oh, no. And Kat's going to collapse. Right. She's going to have to use her nappy. <laughs> Kat, go and get a word. Uh, oh. Well, <laughs> it was a hard day for our girl. Bless her. Bless her little cotton socks. I think this is a good enough time to end the very first part as any. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do leave a thumbs up. If you've got any suggestions for this Let's Play, please leave them down below. I'd love to hear them. And uh, definitely just drop any comments you've got. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.